So, Diana, what was your reaction when you heard about the Jay Gruden news this morning? Um, perhaps a little too late on it in terms of, of when this needed to happen. I think this all goes back to the draft, and I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of the stories that are coming out now, and, and you know, we were reporting it as well uh, during the draft about how Bruce Allen and Dan Snyder wanted to draft Dwayne Haskins when the football operation side of the franchise wanted to go with a different quarterback, the quarterback that's now in New York, Daniel Jones. Wow. Uh, in fact, I never even knew of Daniel Jones's potential and you know, the high grades he was scoring until Washington tipped me off on it uh, weeks before the draft. They said, you know, kick it on to Daniel Jones' quarterback. He's, his stock is up. And, and they were right. And in the end, Dan Player and Bruce Allen, from, from what I can gather, were, were set on Wayne Haskins because of a lot of different reasons, including uh, Dan Snyder's personal interest in him because he used to watch him play at Ohio State, and he grew up near his son um, out in Maryland. So there was a personal connection there. And the football side of it was like, no, he's not ready. He's not the guy we want. And the owner and, and president of, of the Redskins decided to go with who they thought was the best, which also shows you they lost confidence in, in maybe Jay Gruden and his team's ability to put together and find talent. Um, so I think that was really the Achilles heel, or at least the first drop of this. To And once they decided they weren't going to go with the quarterback that the head coach wanted, maybe they should have thought about maybe going with a different head coach because now we see what happened. Dwayne Haskins, according to the coaches on this team, is not ready. According to players, is not ready. So this turned into just sort of a, a hurricane, and the person that had to lose their job, and this was Jay Gruden, and it makes sense. Well, isn't uh, we're talking to Diana Rossini here? Uh, isn't that mean that Diane uh, that uh, Haskins is in the center of this hurricane? Like, is there tension there because there isn't really belief? I mean, he's still he's still going to be the owner's guy. He's still Snyder's guy, and he's still going to be there. They're still going to want to have to play him and see what they can get out of him. So, is there like tension in that building? Do you remember the last time Dan Snyder had a guy? His name was RG three. Mm-hmm. And do you remember what that caused? Mike Shanahan lost his job. RG three no longer is there. And the Redskins continue to lose. So they have not learned from their past, which is don't uh, address your issues on your team like it's a fantasy football team where the owner just picks who he wants. Go with what the football scouts and the men that are paid to study this stuff day in and day out. Go with their recommendation. 